Give you, O Lord, should mark iniquities. Lord, who would stand? And with you is found forgiveness, O God of Israel. Then the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, Christ came to this world to fulfill his Father's will. And we are here to witness for God's will, not for our own desire, not to complete our dreams, but to fulfill Christ's vision of fulfilling God's will. Let's acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May your grace, O Lord, we pray, at all times to go before us and follow after, and make us always determined to carry out good works. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, for freedom Christ set us free. So stand firm and do not submit again to the yoke of slavery. It is I, Paul, who am telling you that if you have yourselves circumcised, Christ will be of no benefit to you. Once again, I declare to every man who has himself circumcised that he is bound to observe the entire law. You are separated from Christ, you who are trying to be justified by law. You have fallen from grace. For through the Spirit, by faith, we await the hope of righteousness, for in Christ Jesus, neither circumcision, circumcision nor uncircumcision counts for anything, but only faith working through love. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord, let your mercy come to me, O Lord. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord, your salvation according to your promise. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord. Take not the word of truth from my mouth, for in your ordinances is my hope. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord and I will keep your law continually forever and ever. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord, and I will walk at liberty because I seek your precepts. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord, and I will delight in your commands, which I love. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord, and I will lift up my hands to your commands and meditate on your statutes. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord.
The Word of God is living and effective, able to discern reflections and thoughts of the heart. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. After Jesus had spoken, a Pharisee invited him to dine at his home. He entered and reclined at table to eat. The Pharisee was amazed to see that he did not observe the prescribed washing before the meal. The Lord said to him, O oh, you Pharisees, although you cleanse the outside of the cup and the dish, inside you are filled with plunder and evil, you fools. Did not the maker of the outside also make the inside? But as to what is within, give alms, and behold, everything will be clean for you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord. Sometimes we take our car for a car wash. But that cannot make the car to run good and make it to be functioning well. We need to take our car for service. Then only inside the car, all the engine, all the oil, all the things that makes the car to run will work properly. And we should not confuse that. We can do car wash when we can. If it is so dirty, if we need to clean the car, that's perfectly fine. But we cannot compromise with car service. Car service is so important for a car to run. Spiritual things are also like that. Some of us may think, I do a lot of charity, I help these many things. I help that purpose, this purpose, and I do a lot of things with that. Well, you are doing car wash. That, help, that can help your car to look good, look like very shining, brand new car. But what about your spiritual health? Have you been to confession this month? Have you been to the Holy Mass regularly? Are you able to pray every day? Are you, spend, are you able to spend a time in front of the Blessed Sacrament? Are you able to pray any novena and offer some spiritual sacrifices? And those are named as a way to say service for the car. Charity can make us to be a great way to be connected with our spirit. Charity will make us to make us that we have a great way to respond to God's call to be a poor. But charity will make us that we should respond inwardly also. There's a spiritual charity that we have to do. Sometimes we should forgive someone. That is a big charity than we give money or some food or some things to the poor. So Jesus is asking us, clean inside of the vessel. You are looking at the outer outside appearance of the vessel. You have to clean inside, which is dirty, and it's got a lot of dust, a lot of molds is building up, so you should clean it and make it to be healthy. 
so that we can use it. And that's the same thing we need to look into. How many times you have been just doing car wash to your soul? Or have you done car service to your soul? Let us humbly pray to God our Father that those who enact laws extend, extend respect and dignity to every citizen. We pray to the Lord Amen. that pastoral leaders in the church be attentive to the importance of compassion and not just blind obedience to law. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our spiritual life be evident by our acts of charity, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who are sick in our midst know of our love and our support, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the poor souls in purgatory, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Chris Smith is being especially remembered at this Mass, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Merciful Father, graciously bestow your graces upon us so that we may cleanse our hearts and make us to be pure and holy. Build your kingdom within us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for the goodness which is the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for the goodness which is to the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and oak of human hands, to become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be accepted God Almighty, Father. For the praise and glory of his name, our good and good of all of his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful 
the sacrificial offerings that through these acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty in our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god for although you have no need of our praise yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift since our praises add nothing to your greatness but profit us for our salvation through Christ our lord and so in company with the choirs of angels we praise you and with joy we proclaim Holy, 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 Lord God of our host, heaven and earth full of your glory, host and on the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, host and on the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord. the fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts to pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and ended willingly in his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of it and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new an eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith we proclaim yes, your death o lord. lord and profess your resurrection until you come again therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you are held as worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with francis our pope and charles thompson proch bishop and all the clergy remember your servant chris smith whom you called from this world to yourself grant that she who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face 
Have mercy on us all, we pray. That the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Vincent de Paul, our patron, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co host to eternal life, we may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not our sins for the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with their will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only, only say, say the word, word my, my soul, soul shall, shall be healed.
When the Lord appears, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with, this, with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your son, so you may make us sharers of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. This week and we have a school break for the fall season, and so they are in the fall break. So we will have Mass as usual at 8.15 tomorrow morning. Um, so no school kids will be here, so you are most welcome to come for the Mass morning at 8.15. I know it's a little early for some of you, but you can make a sacrifice as a priest is doing that. Then Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle, be our protection against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. I do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. 